Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Be Well Live. My name is Melissa Souza, and I am the Senior Wellness Coordinator in the Athletics and Recreation Department. And today we have a little segment on meditation versus mindfulness. So what's the difference? Um, are they one and the same? Um, these kind of terms are thrown around in the wellness world, and we thought we'd kind of tackle them and dismantle them a little bit and teach you a little bit about about both practices um, because they are different. They are not the same, and um, but they do get uh, kind of termed together or lumped together in the wellness world. So let's debunk some of these myths and figure it out. And let's start with meditation. So meditation, um, it is a very, very old practice. Um, the first, um, I guess, scriptures or writings on meditation were 1700 uh, BC, and um, they were found in the Vedas, were actually um, our scriptures in um, Hinduism. So um, very, very old. And um, back then, it was a practice that was basically um, focused on spiritual growth, but it has changed. So now meditation, I guess, in the 20th century has taken on a different kind of style. And the focus of meditation or um, of the practice of meditation has really been um, to reduce stress and to improve one's overall health and wellness. So that's how it's kind of um, presented these days to us. And I thought that we would kind of walk through um, a meditation practice that I do on my own. So I'm here I am, I'm on my meditation um, pillows. You don't need a meditation pillow to meditate, by the way. Um, but this is where I meditate um, in my kind of yoga space, I guess. And um, it's just a quiet space that grounds me. And that's, I encourage you, if you are going to practice meditation, that you find yourself a quiet spot, especially if you're a beginner, um, because the practice of meditation is just always bringing our focus and our thoughts um, back to one thing. So it can be a mantra, it can be our breath, um, but that's what meditating is. It is training our brains to um, stop the focus on thoughts, on, um, things that we hear sound, um, physically things we feel. Um, so a lot of times in meditation, you start to feel like your back starts to get sore. So it's not focusing on those types of uh, feelings or thoughts um, or surroundings. It's about focusing on bringing our thoughts and our mind, training it to come back to present, our breath, a mantra, something. And that's what it is. It's, it's a continual um push and pull with our thoughts to bring it back. So um, something that I do is um, I typically actually, I wasn't gonna do this, but I made as well. Um, I like to use oils. So um, I've read that with meditation, if you uh, give yourself your brain a little kickstart at the beginning, so it's like a ritual, and I put an oil on my uh, wrist first, and I kind of rub it into the back of my necks as well. My neck, I only have one, um, and it's for, um, to train your brain to know that it's about to start um, something and when if you use the same oil and the same scent your brain knows to like start to quiet we're gonna meditate I can smell that same smell you start to feel like your body's grounding like everything's slowing down and you're settling in for meditation practice. So it can be a very short practice to start. You can still reap the benefits, which we'll talk about in a second, um, if you just do five minutes a day. So my suggestion is to wake up a little bit earlier each day. See if you can set your alarm even 10 minutes before. Um, try to get a five to 10 minute meditation practice and it can look like this. You can start with your oils and you can either do a mantra or you can focus on breath. Those are the easier ones to start. And um, you can say something, a mantra can be very simple and it's um, guided by your breath. So as you breathe in, inhale, and you can say something like I, and then on your exhale, M. You can say something like I, inhale, exhale, belong. So every time that you have your eyes, when your eyes are closed and every inhale and exhale, you would say the same mantra to yourself. I be long with exhale so your breath would go in and exhale and you don't have to say a mantra to yourself at all you can just focus on your breath so your breath all you would be thinking about your thoughts would be on inhale and exhale you do not have 
to close your eyes. It doesn't have to look this a certain way. You can sit on your couch. Um, they do say that it's not good to try to lie down and meditate because typically you almost fall into, um, there's a fine line between a sleep and a meditation where your brain comes into play. So to practice, um, pulling it back all the time is 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 the work that your brain's doing and you want to make sure that you're in um, You're not in a sleep state when you're meditating. So that's meditation. And why do we do it? What are the benefits of meditation? so uh, improved concentration uh, Relaxes our mind um, it aids in processing our emotions and that kind of goes into mindfulness and we'll get into that um, It also lowers our stress hormone, which is cortisol and um, actually studies prove that uh, students while, who practice uh, mindful meditation actually achieve better grades, which makes sense because you have improved concentration and um, relaxation of the mind when after you meditate. Um, and it actually continues on throughout your day. So it that single practice in the morning and practicing each day um, helps you throughout the day with all of those things. So why not try it, especially if it's only five to 10 minutes to start um, and see if you can work your way up to about 20 minutes a day. Um, I'm still at about eight minutes. So uh, before my brain and I, I'm just done. So it's a practice and it's it's um, learning to again, bring your mind back. So that's meditation. What is mindfulness then? What is mindfulness? Uh, mindfulness is actually a state of mind. So it's not necessarily a practice, though it can be. Um, it is being aware of every single present moment. So it's being in the here and now fully. Um, and it doesn't mean that that needs to be seated or um, through a mantra. It is not a practice per se. Again, um, it's more a way of life, if you will, um, living a mindful life. So is um, it can be achieved um, this state of mind through the practice of meditation but again it is more a, a way of life so what is a mindfulness practice so a mindfulness practice was is where you would focus on the four fundamentals of mindfulness so um, the observation of um, the physical being um, of our feelings um, so you know whether we feel like they are um, sorry I just have trying to, so whether it was a pleasant, that's what I wrote, pleasant. Um, whether it's a pleasant experience, unpleasant, whether we're neutral in that thought, um, I wanted to make sure I got that right for you guys. Um, and one of the other things that we would observe in mindfulness is the mind, um, the observation of our mind, so our moods and our emotions. And then the fourth fundamental is our thought. So it could be something as simple as, I don't have that with me right now, but say it was a cup of tea. So say I was holding my mug, and I wanted to practice mindfulness um, and to be here in the present. So a way to practice that is by figuring out um, all the four fundamentals that are happening while I'm holding my warm, there you go, there's one of them, um, warm mug of tea. How do I feel? What are my emotions? Um, typically, me, anyone that knows me well, knows I get super excited about tea. I love tea, so it brings me happiness, brings me joy. It is definitely a pleasant um, feeling. It is physically warm to the touch, um, physically warm as it enters my body. Um, the taste is usually um, a little bit sweet because I like to put some honey in my tea. Um, it is something that always reminds me of um, my family and growing up and my English Nana, which are all warm and fuzzy thoughts for me. So everything about drinking tea brings me joy um, and uh, warmth and uh, again is, is a is a peaceful ritual for me. So that's, if I sat down with my cup of tea and I really thought about my tea and thought and practiced a mindful um, thinking, that's what I would be thinking about while I drink my tea. And you can practice that through whatever you're doing throughout the day, whether that's that you're studying, what are you holding? How does it feel to hold a pen? How does it feel to um, click a mouse? What's the sounds that you're hearing? Um, are you physically triggered by those sounds? And again, it's training yourself um, on those feelings and thoughts. And it's about it's about a, a reaction. So when you when you slow things down and you become mindful, um, the benefits of this is that we can move through our emotions. So as I mentioned, the benefits of meditation are the same too. Um, it, it helps us practice to slow things down, to listen to our thoughts, and then our reaction is different. So a lot of people think that mindfulness or living a mindful life means that you um, 
you're no longer an angry person per se, or you don't feel those emotions. Um, anxiety and stress don't necessarily, um, are, are not emotions or feelings that you feel anymore. And that's not true. You still feel those emotions. It's your reaction to those emotions. So you stop, you slow everything down. Instead of reacting quickly and lashing out on, on somebody or something in anger, what you would do is let that emotion move through you. You would move through it with more mindfulness. Um, you would maybe think about that, that thing or whatever happened that's making you angry and you'd be able to um, look at the greater world and be able to say, maybe it's not such a big deal. Um, and you'd be able to move through that practice and that thought practice um, a lot quicker the more you practice mindfulness and meditation. So um, maybe it's something, again, like you would you would um, compare it to something else within um, the greater um, world and be able to, to minimize um, what it actually is and, and how it actually affects your life. And so your reaction would change. So again, you're not, not feeling those things. You're feeling them, but you're moving through them differently. So that's the practice of mindfulness and that is one of the huge benefits of it is um, our reaction can change and that's really really powerful I think for especially um, emotions such as anger um, frustration um, feeling things like anxiety um, it does help with all of those things as you can probably see if you practice these things each day um, we'd be able to move through them with ease I think in our lives so um, once again, um, our mindfulness is not the same as meditation. Um, it's just one technique that can be used to achieve mindfulness, but it's not the only uh, technique. There's many out there, um, but that's just one of them, the one that we kind of just practice there together, hopefully. Um, and our goal for both, um, living a mindful life and or practicing meditation are one and the same, I believe. And that's to achieve some calm and clarity. So hopefully, if you practice um, or begin to practice that you too will achieve some calm and clarity in your life. You can join us on Monday. We're actually starting our five days of wellness next week. It's our wellness week. And on Monday, uh, 1030 a.m. right here on our Instagram channel here on uh, the Seneca Sting, you can join us. Uh, we've got a gratitude morning meditation with Cheryl Mitri uh, from our counseling and accessibilities department at Seneca College and she is going to do a guided practice so it's a wonderful way um, if you're a beginner and you're curious about meditation guided meditation is another practice where um, if you're not sure about whether you would like or would benefit from a mantra style um, meditation or whether it would be um, something that would benefit you better better to do a breath style meditation, a guided meditation is even better because um, she will explain to you how your body should feel. She'll, she'll talk you through um, bringing your thoughts back. And um, again, we'll be talking about gratitude because that is our first um, day of our five days of wellness is on gratitude. So join us each day next week. We've got um, a great lineup for our wellness week. I hope that you all stay safe and be well. Take good care.